Hey there, welcome to the video. If you're getting ready for the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 exam, you're in the right place. In this session, we're going to go through a set of practice questions that cover key topics like operating systems, security, software troubleshooting, and IT operations. We are using Skill Test Pro again, one of the best platforms that I have found for realistic exam style questions that actually help you learn. Let's jump in and see how many you can get right. First question. A company wants to ensure that users are only able to install approved applications. What feature should they use? File Explorer? Notepad? Group Policy? Windows Media Player? Or Disk Cleanup? The correct answer is Group Policy. Group Policy allows administrators to enforce software restrictions and security policies across a network. All right, question two. A technician suspects that a system has a malware infection. What is the first step that they should take? Disconnect the system from the network? Format the hard drive? Disable Windows Update? Install a new hard drive? Or change the display resolution? The correct answer is disconnect the system from the network. Disconnecting from the network prevents malware from spreading or communicating with external servers. All right, question three. Which tool allows a technician to configure system startup settings and troubleshoot boot-related issues? Task Manager? Windows Update? MS Config? Notepad? Or Event Viewer? The correct answer is MS Config. The System Configuration Tool, or MS Config, allows users to manage startup settings and troubleshoot boot issues. All right, question four. A user reports that their system is running out of storage space. What tool can help free up space? Disk Cleanup? Notepad? Windows Defender? Task Manager? Or System Restore? The correct answer is Disk Cleanup. Disk Cleanup removes temporary files, system logs, and other unnecessary files in order to free up storage space. All right, question five. A technician needs to check if a driver is causing a hardware issue. What tool should they use? Task Manager? File Explorer? Windows Defender? System Restore? Or Device Manager? The correct answer is Device Manager. Device Manager displays all installed hardware and drivers, allowing troubleshooting of hardware-related issues. All right, question six. A user reports that their laptop screen goes black randomly, but the system remains powered on. What should the technician check first? Power settings? Printer queue? Speaker volume? Windows firewall settings? Or system restore? The correct answer is power settings. The power settings may be configured to turn off the display after a set period of inactivity. All right, moving on. Question seven. A technician wants to ensure that all computers in an organization receive security patches regularly. What tool should they use? Task manager? File explorer? Device manager? Windows update? or Notepad? The correct answer is Windows Update. Windows Update ensures that all security patches and software updates are installed automatically. All right, moving on. Question eight. Which feature in Windows helps users restore a previous version of a file that was accidentally deleted or modified? Is it Task Scheduler? File History? Windows Defender? Device Manager, or Windows Update? The correct answer is File History. File History allows users to restore previous versions of files, protecting against accidental changes or deletions. All right, question nine. A user reports slow performance and frequent application crashes. Task Manager shows 95% memory usage. What is the most likely cause? Insufficient RAM, a weak power supply, corrupt BIOS firmware, 
an outdated printer driver, or too many browser extensions? The correct answer is insufficient RAM. High memory usage suggests that the system doesn't have enough RAM to handle running applications efficiently. All right, question 10. A technician needs to check for system errors and crashes. Which tool should they use? Task manager? Device manager? Event viewer? Disk cleanup? Or file explorer? The correct answer is event viewer. Event viewer logs system errors, warnings, and critical events, which help diagnose issues. All right, you guys are doing great so far. Let's keep going. Question 11. A user is unable to open certain websites, but they can access others. What is the most likely cause? A full hard drive? A weak Wi-Fi signal? Incorrect DNS settings? An outdated keyboard driver? Or Windows Defender is disabled? The correct answer is incorrect DNS settings. Incorrect or misconfigured DNS settings can prevent access to certain websites while allowing access to others. All right, moving on. Question 12. Which Windows utility allows a technician to manage startup applications? Task Manager? Device Manager? Windows Update? Event Viewer? Or Disk Cleanup? The correct answer is Task Manager. Task Manager has a Startup tab that allows users to enable or disable startup programs in order to improve boot performance. All right, moving on. Question 13. A user reports that after installing a software update, their application crashes frequently. What should the technician do first? Reinstall Windows? Restore the system to a previous restore point? Delete all temporary files? Disable Windows Firewall? Or run a full virus scan? The correct answer is restore the system to a previous restore point. System Restore allows users to revert their system to a state before the problematic update was installed. All right, question 14. A technician needs to prevent unauthorized access to a lost or stolen laptop. What should they enable? Windows Defender? Guest Account? File History? BitLocker? Or System Restore? The correct answer is BitLocker. BitLocker encrypts the entire disk, preventing unauthorized users from accessing data on a lost or stolen laptop. Now moving on to question 15. A user complains that their laptop frequently overheats and shuts down. What's the most likely cause? A failing hard drive? Excessive dust buildup in the cooling vents? Outdated graphics driver? Low battery health? Or corrupt BIOS settings? The correct answer is excessive dust buildup in the cooling vents. Dust can block airflow, causing the system to overheat and shut down as a protective measure. All right, question 16. A company requires all employees to use multi-factor authentication, also known as MFA, when logging into company systems. What is an example of MFA? Entering a username and password? Typing a password twice? Logging in with a single sign-on or SSO service? Using a fingerprint scan and password? Or changing a password every 90 days? The correct answer is using a fingerprint scan and password. MFA requires two or more authentication factors, such as something the user knows, the password, and something they have, a fingerprint. All right, moving on. Question 17. A technician needs to migrate user data from an old Windows 10 PC to a new one. Which tool should they use? Disk cleanup? File history? Windows Defender? Event Viewer? Or Task Manager? The correct answer is File History. File History allows users to back up and restore personal files, making it ideal for data migration. 
All right, question 18. A user reports that they forgot their Windows login password. Which method would allow them to reset it? A BIOS reset? Safe mode with networking? A Windows password reset disk? Uninstalling recent Windows updates? Or running a malware scan? The correct answer is Windows password reset disk. A password reset disk allows users to create a new password if they have forgotten their login credentials. All right, question 19. A technician is configuring Windows Firewall for a company network. What is the primary function of the firewall? Is it managing software updates? Preventing phishing attacks? Encrypting data stored on the drive? Blocking unauthorized inbound and outbound traffic? Or increasing system performance? The correct answer is blocking unauthorized inbound and outbound traffic. A firewall monitors and controls network traffic, preventing unauthorized access to or from a system. And finally, one more for this, uh, this video. Question 20. A user reports that their laptop is displaying a no boot device found error after a recent Windows update. What is the most likely cause? Corrupt Windows installation? Disconnected or failed hard drive? Overheating CPU, a faulty graphics driver, or insufficient RAM? The correct answer is disconnected or failed hard drive. A no boot device found error often indicates that the hard drive is not detected due to a loose connection, a failure, or incorrect BIOS boot settings. All right. And that is a wrap on this round of Core 2 Practice Questions. Awesome job sticking with it, everybody. If you are serious about passing the A-plus exam, keep practicing and review the areas that tripped you up. I've dropped a link to Skill Test Pro in the description and in the first comment so that you can try their full set of practice tests. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep going until then. You are building real skills that matter.